Okay, it looks like we have all the commissioners. Good afternoon. It is May 10th, uh, 12.01 p.m. for a special meeting of the board. Uh, I've put the agenda in our chat. Uh, we have six um, items for business. And before we get into that, um, I'll ask my fellow commissioners if there are any adjustments, um, changes, uh, or corrections that need to be made on the items that I entered into there, which were posted. <laughs> Hey, Sarah, it's Kayla. I don't think so. Okay. Um, I just want to defer to Chris on the contract with Ellen Kirstein. Chris, did you get the final copy um, for us to move on today, potentially move on today? Well, I know I emailed y'all the um, documents that uh, Ellen Kirstein's attorney said had been approved, but I have not received a signed copy back from them yet. Do we need to wait for that copy to come from them? Uh, or is that uh, legal communications to you that they've been approved on their side? Uh, what were? Yeah, as far as I know, both, um, I know Mr. Kirstein told uh, Colleen Kaneda that he didn't have any issues with it. And his attorney told me that it was um, good to go. So uh, I'm just waiting to hear back from them with the copy, their signed copy, which I've requested. And so I don't, I don't anticipate further issues with it. Okay. I think the last email I had seen that uh, legal from Ellen Kirstein just had some typos that they were going to correct and nothing substantial before they sent us a copy with a signature. Yeah. And then she sent a follow on up after that, that she checked and I'd already corrected those typos. So we should be good to go. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so we can leave that on, Sarah. Okay, great. Anything else to change before we jump into item number one? No, thank you. No, nope, looks good. Okay, great. Thanks very much. All right, and with that, uh, we'll go into item number one, which is the transit feasibility study, the scope of work um, for the 5304 uh, CDOT grant. Yeah, so this is a this is mine, and it's a what we need to do is have a formal approval in the minutes um, to record with the grant document from CDOT of the scope of work for the 5304 transit feasibility study, um, formally adopting the scope of work and budget for that project. Um, it's currently budgeted right now at $50,000 from CDOT with $40,000 coming from the Colorado Department of Transportation, 5,000 coming from the county and 5,000 coming from the city. So we just need to have a um, formal motion and formal recognition of that budgeted scope of work for, for CDOT. Go ahead and make that motion that we approve the budgeted scope of work for the 5034 grant. Second. Okay. Um, 5304 grant. Very good. Uh, any further discussion? None from me. Thank you. All right. I'll, I'll just say I mean, thanks for uh, Commissioner Marcella working through and great that we're coordinating with the city on that work on, on local transit. So thanks. Thanks, Jeff. Excellent. And good good that uh, it's still in the queue through CDOT and the 5304 based mm -hmm. on COVID and everything. So um, that's great. All right. Uh, hearing no further discussion then, all those in favor, aye. 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 Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Marcella. All right, and number two, consideration of the $25,000 allocation from Department of Human Services fund balance to Lake County School District um, for uh, a child care coordinator shared position. Um, Commissioner Marcella, again, do you wanna give us a brief background here? We talked about this, um, or you've been working on this with uh, various groups for um, addressing the child care gap in the community. Yeah, um, so we did a, a strategic planning process um, that we started last fall and finished um, with that document at the beginning of March and developed the Child Care Coalition that's been working with Build a Generation and um, 
Lake County School District has been very instrumental in assisting with that process. And so um, the school district has developed a position um, that we'd like to share um, the cost of. So that's 50% of the position and the school district will pay the other 50% of the position. Um, and uh, it will be a child care coordinator um, position that will coordinate all of the moving parts of the child care strategic plan in one place um, so that we can appropriately place resources where they need to be. This sounds like a great partnership and collaboration. Um, I really like the idea. <laughs> Thanks. So um, we had we had put money into the fund balance um, through the mill allocation uh, at the at the budget um, cycle going into 2021, and so we were are asking for um, that money to be released um, to give to the school district formally. Um, I have talked to Janine, the director of human services about this position, and she is supportive of it as well. So we will um, make that allocation if it's approved here today. Great. I'll entertain a motion to approve the allocation of $25,000 from the Department of Human Services uh, fund balance to the Lake County School District uh, for a shared position of child care coordinator. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? No, thank you. Uh, no, thanks. That sounds clear. Agreed. Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, number three, the E911 grant from Dora to the Lake County Sheriff's Office for upgrades to dispatch. Um, Aye. This is. Oh, go ahead, Commissioner Marcel. No, so um, I was just going to say we've been um, we've been working through this a little bit with the the supervisor of dispatch, um, and so this is this is going towards an upgrade in our um, nine one one capabilities. Um, let me pull up the agreement here. Sorry about that. So it's uh, an upgrade to the um, 911 telephone line that comes into the dispatch um, center. And so we need to formally approve the grant agreement through the Department of Regulatory Agencies um, for us to get reimbursed for that infrastructure. That's already, That's already been, been put in place, place right? right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I will uh, make a motion that we approve the grant with the Department of Regulatory Agents Agencies for the 911 internet upgrade. I'll second. Any further discussion? Uh, none for me. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. All righty. Uh, hearing none, all those in favor, aye. Aye. I Okay, moving right along. Uh, number four, the funeral home expenses uh, that came to us from the Lake County Sheriff's Office as a request for payment. Um, this, we, I think we wanted to consider this to make uh, the, oh goodness, the Carol, trying to remember the funeral home. Llewellyn, Carol Llewellyn Funeral Home, um, who was involved, I believe, with the DA's and the Sheriff's Office investigation, um, who had uh, physical possession of um, decedents. Um, I think our intention here is to make whole uh, the funeral home uh, and pay those invoices, but uh, it is still not clear uh, if that responsibility lies with the DA's office. Um, because it was an open investigation. Um, so I think I am happy to entertain a motion that includes <laughs> um, such verbiage. Uh, and I will ask my fellow commissioners if they have any other questions or comments. Um, and I'm happy to make an attempt at that motion. 
I, uh, this is Commissioner Fiedler, I can just add a, a, a couple of the details. One is that the uh, sheriff uh, or sheriff's office has communicated that they're willing to sort of, you know, carry mm -hmm. this on their budget um, while we sort out exactly, um, you know, the, the details of where some, you know, some of this, as you said, might be reimbursed, you know, because it was part of an investigation by the DA, some of it might come um, uh, if we get that word from, you know, under the coroner, or like county coroner's budget. So, you know, there's some things to figure out, but as you said, we wanted to make the funeral home whole since they did these services in good faith. Um, so I guess, the, you know, thank you to the sheriff's office for sort of covering this uh, for now as we figure it out. All right, well, I'm happy to entertain a motion uh, to make the payment to um, the Carol Llewellyn Funeral Home uh, for the storage of the decedents and other services um, provided, um, as well as continue to communicate with the DA for proper uh, responsibility of these expenses, uh, as well as the autopsy expenses, uh, which are pretty significant. So moved. Uh, second. Okay, and and just to uh, to add to the discussion, the the, the invoicing for this uh, payment in particular is an upward of nineteen thousand dollars, and the autopsies were sixteen thousand um, dollars that we were also asked to to cover. So uh, Heidi has been in touch, and we will continue to communicate with um, the DA um, to to resolve this issue. Is there any further discussion from my fellow commissioners? No, thank you. No, uh, maybe just to add, I, mean, I think it, you, the discussion with the DA that you have ongoing is good. It seems like the, the Lake County coroner should also be involved, you know, at the appropriate moment in case some of the expenses need to be referred through that office. Absolutely. Good note. All right. If there's no further discussion, that's it. Uh, all, great, thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And item number five, consideration of the contract from Lon Kirsting with Elm Kirsting for the construction of Fire Station 2. Uh, Commissioner Marceller, I see Chris Floyd um, unmuting here. Sure, I, I can start and then Chris, you can jump in. Um, we accepted the bid from Ellen Kirsting um, in the fall of 2020 for the completion of the, the Southern Fire Station. And um, he was the second bidder on the project originally. And we had we had chosen to accept his bid after we had ended our contract with Peak 360 for their work. Um, so this is a formal contract with Ellen Kirsting to complete the construction work um, at Fire Station 2 which we're hopeful will we'll start in the next week or so. Um, Chris, if you want to add to that. Sure, sure, no, and I was just gonna say, we thought we had the contract, the, the initial uh, version of the contract finalized in the fall and because of uncertainty as to what materials were there and what they'd be able to start and when, um, ended up needing to, to put the project into uh, somewhat of a phasing approach. And so this, uh, the, the contract documents that are, are being um, approved today are the, the overall construction contract um, in terms and conditions and such, plus the initial phase one statement of work, which is intended to allow um, Ellen Kirstein to go on and construct the, uh, the metal building for the equipment bays and such, since uh, I believe that the structural components of that are on site and have been sitting there uh, for some time. So this is just just to go on and approve the contract that was um, initially drafted in the fall and now finalized and then the first statement of work to cover that initial um, phase. And if in terms of, I don't know for the record, if you want the uh, expenditures for this initial phase um, the spreadsheet that was received from the contractor um, looks like that the uh, total for this initial phase one is uh, $558,296.71. Uh, 
which I understand from communications is within what was approved um, for the, the overall budget of the station. Correct. Um, that was included in the budgeted amount that we had put into our budget for 2021 that we will split with the city and the fire department. Thank you so much. Uh, well, I will entertain a motion uh, to enter into, um, sorry, contract with Long Kirsting, or oh, sorry, with Elm Kirsting for this initial phase of construction for Fire Station 2. Is that accurate? I'm, I'm sorry to clarify. It, it actually is. It's it's the construction agreement is for um, LM Kirstein's services overall, not just for this phase one. Um, but the the scope of work that's initially being approved is just for phase one. So we won't have to come back and do a new contract if they're you know for phase two or or the additional services. We'll just have to approve a new statement of work for the next phasing. Yeah, we, okay. this, uh, and, and Sarah, just for clarification, this will be for um, work in the bays with the steel building. Um, so that will be the first phase of work. Okay, great. Do you want, uh, I'll, I'll take a, I'll remove that motion <laughs> to make it a little more accurate here, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll consider a motion for, uh, to enter into contract with Elm Kirsting for the construction of Fire Station 2. Is that more accurate? Okay. And second. All right, any further discussion? No, I'm just really thankful that we're able to move into this and finalize it and get uh, infrastructure off the ground. Same, definitely. Thanks for all your work, everyone on this, yeah. Before you move on, are you going to do a separate approval for the um, the initial scope of work? Since that's yeah, sure. that, that essentially is an amendment to the contract, uh, you know, to define what the initial scope of work is. Yeah, I think that'd be appropriate, Chris. Okay, so the motion on the table is to enter into contract with Elm Kirsting for the construction, and. Uh, if there's no further discussion on the motion on the table, uh, all those in favor, aye. 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 All right, and then uh, I'll entertain a motion um, for the approval of the initial scope of work with Ellen Kirsting um, in the initial phase of uh, construction for Fire Station 2. So moved. Second. Okay, any further discussion? No, thank you. None for me. Okay. All right, great, thank you. All those in favor, aye. 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 All right, and last on our list of items, we have the approval of meeting minutes um, tabled from the May 3rd meeting. Um, let's see, I know that I submitted my comments on those and I will need to pull up exactly what minutes those were unless somebody else has got those up in front of them right now i apologize let's see Okay, it looks like we have minutes from uh, March 9th, 2021, minutes from February 11th, 2021, and the minutes from April 19th, um, 2021. I submitted comments on the February set and the April 19th set. Um, and with um, those changes, I would be happy to entertain uh, approval, unless my fellow commissioners have other comments. No, I don't. Um, I will make a, or uh, so moved. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know how to say that. So moved. Second. All okay. Right. Sorry about that. No, um, that's okay. <laughs> any, go ahead, Kayla. Any, any other discussion on those, the, those three sets of minutes? No, no. I just was going to say thank you um, 
for the additional time for tabling those on May 3rd because I was able to, to review your edits and felt that they were appropriate. Okay, great. All right, doesn't look like there's any further discussion. All those in favor, aye. 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 Excellent. All right, is there anything else before we adjourn? Um, Commissioner Mudge, this is uh, Chris. I just want to let you know that um, an email just came through with the signed documents from MLM Kirstein. Um, so I have those and I'll send those over to you um, so that it, they can be countersigned and given to uh, Ms. Berger for recording. Excellent. Okay, very good. Um, there's nothing else then. Nothing for me, thank you. And nothing for my fellow commissioners, all right. Good. All right, great. Uh, at 1221, we will adjourn. Thank you so much. Okay.